season number one is about to come to an end in EFC 24 and it was pretty decent for the most part. A lot of us will be able to get to level 40 and get access to Cunha, Kone, who's one of my favourite centre mids right now, and some decent fodder packs. As well as that, we got end of the season Div Rival Awards. Me being a sweat, I easily hit the 90 games, but let's see if we get more than just a TIFO. If not, it's going to be questionable. I'm honestly expecting us just to get TIFOs from this. I can't see EA dropping packs, but we shall see shortly. And I've also got Elite Div Rival Awards to open in this video. For cheap and fast FC24 Ultimate Team Coins, head over to MMOEXP.com, link down below, and make sure to use my code Morsi at checkout to get yourself 5% off. So the brand new season is here. Season 2 is in the building, and they're kicking it off with a Movember kit. Love that. Big fan of it. Same with the stadium theme here. Now, one thing we need is decent fodder packs this year. 81 plus attackers is a decent start. 82 plus times two as well. Oh, oh, it's the big man hold up. We'll get to it shortly. The players last season were really good, by the way. Especially the end get the end season objective ones like Cunha and Kone. So let's see what EA do this time around. 82 plus times two. It's not bad. A little 83 plus player pick in there. 83 plus and an 80 plus times 10 for level nine. I'm pretty certain we are better than that maybe last season. Earlier on, I might be wrong. And then the first selection of players at one year. The boy who just cannot stop scoring with Forrest. To be fair, he's probably stopped scoring now. But he was bagging goal after goal towards the start of the season. The big man. Looks okay, nothing crazy, but could be usable for those starter teams. Van der Hayden. Where's he at? La Liga, Belgium. Yeah, he looks decent. The dribbling's really good. Can he play like fullback? He can't. The dribbling's really good for a centre-half, to be fair. And then Xerxes. Medium low, six foot four. Only three-star, three-star. They're giving you some big, big, bullyish strikers, aren't they? To be fair, this Xerxes looks solid. I reckon he could be the way to go. Either way, probably not going to make my team, but still, not bad options early doors. Frank the Tank at level 15. Frank on Yaka in the building. 83 plus red gold player pack here. We've got a player pick for one of three, 83 plus. 83 plus times two, 84 plus times three. There's some fodder to be obtained at this stage. And then Frank the Tank, 86 pace. Frank. The agility, the defending. Freestyle, freestyle, medium. All right, mate, this guy could be a demon, you know. I reckon he could be a demon. His other, his rule breakers last year was insane. Intercept and slide tackle on there. That's what I like to see. Ramazzini as well. What league are we in, my son? La Liga. Okay, so it seems to be Premier League, La Liga. And then maybe Serie A by the looks of it. Freestyle, four star. That could be foreshadowing for the squad foundations, by the way. It tends to be the way they go. Hold up, he's listed as a dynamic duo. He is also listed as a dynamic duo. Is there like a link between these guys? Nigeria Premier League. I guess it makes sense, right? Belgium. It does. Okay, so smart for me, eh? I respect that. That might have been the dynamic duos that they were leaking themselves. But Ramazzini, great agility, great balance. Looks okay. Nothing crazy. And then Kalasum. Probably the least favoured out of all of them. To be fair, he looks pretty well-rounded. The shooting is mad for a centre midfielder. Play style is not too bad. But realistically, it's going to be on Yeka for myself. Oh, EA, you are juicing this. Alex Awobi with a playstyle plus. I'm a big fan of this, by the way. 84 plus times 2, 81 plus times 11, 85 plus times 2 again. Storyline Awobi. Wow, center mid, high, high. Great attack position. The shot power's there. The playstyles are very solid. Long ball pass, playstyle plus. Who else have we got? Witzel. Almost Hullet Gang. What place have we got? Ariel on him. Not as good, I guess, but still decent. Jockey. Great defending stats for technically a free card. And then Karsdor. The fact that we're getting these cards at level 19 is very nice, by the way. Iwobi looks phenomenal. Uh, level 20, 86 plus times 3. EA Sports, this is it. 87 plus times 2 as well. This is what I'm talking about. But this is actually the end of the season. Only le uh, 20 levels. I swear, was there more last year round? Oh, okay, as you can see, season 2 act 1. Interesting. So they're going to drop this in parts by the looks of it. So this is what we can expect this little part of the season. And then we'll have an act two. Okay, okay. So taking mind, this is all we can get. They're still decent cards, but they're not much of an improvement on your Cunhas, your Kones. I still probably would say Cunha and Kone are better than the majority of these. It's nice that they're giving these playstyle pluses, though. I'll definitely be getting a Wobi on Yeka and Big for, uh, what's his name, a one year as well. Just for the Nigeria Premier League links, why not? It's nice that you can do that. And it's also the same for these guys, being Dutch and Syria, being Belgium, and also a La Liga, for example, as you can see. It allows you to get chemistry to each other. And the fodder packs at the end are pretty solid. So that is that right there. 
It looks pretty decent. I'm excited to see what they do in regards to Act 2 on that one. Hopefully it's something decent. Now let's round this off with my Elite Division Rival Awards. I'm taking a tradable, of course I am. And let's see if we're getting TIFOs. EA Sports. Bless us with some hidden packs in here. Let's open these player picks really quickly. Anything decent? 86. Ooh, Rudiger. I'll take fodder. My defense is pretty stacked on this account. Come on, EA. Give it to me. Another 86. I I'm, I'm, don't mind that. Could be better. Could be much worse. I'm pretty certain this is it. What are we saying then? It's a TIFO. Okay, yeah, brilliant. EA, thank you so much for that. I'm a big fan of that one. Um, that's amazing. And now we're back in Div 2. Ready to sweat forward to the division again. I'm not shocked they've not given us packs, but like they gave us packs last year for that. So why have they changed it? I'm not sure. We might get a lot of dupes here, by the way, but I'll just quick sell them and then we'll crack on with these. Dutch Cam. Is this Rod? 85, I think she is, right? 85 rated? She is. Oh, 86 is a walkout. Unbelievable. Straight in there. All these are dupes. Down we go to the quick sell and we move on. Another mega pack. Already getting a walkout. It's great. Fodder is needed because Big Jude Bellingham could be coming at some point. Ghana, CDM. Is that my boy Thomas Party? What rating are you this year, Thomas? You're an 85, mate. Fair play. Big Steve Cooper as well. Couple of, uh, couple of dupes in here. Quick sell the rest of them and let's crack on. Two rare player packs and then, of course, the big two 100k packs. No promo cards. Uruguayan, centre back. Oh, this is, uh, okay, I said this big Ronald. I've already got him. Uh, untradeable. So that would have been a bit disappointing. But still, that's not fantastic, is it? Uh, at least we get some quick sales. Submit 1.6k to the bank. We take that all day. Uh, another rare players pack. Come on, EA. I never see promo cards. If any of you guys packed a promo, oh, this is Oschan, is that his name? So it's always Galashi with this nation. Okay, that is a lot of dupes, but oh, none of them are tradable as well. Okay, I don't care. To the gulag you go, boys. A couple of hundred K packs now to uh, to top this off real quick. Anything special, Brazilian. Center back, Real Madrid. Thiago Silva. Is he a walkout? Or is he an 84? Yeah, they dropped him down, didn't they? That is a shocker, mate. And then all these guys are dupes. Down you go, boys. So we get a walkout in the worst pack, and that's the best player we've packed so far. That's the Luke Division summed up right there. Come on now. Chili, goalkeeper, that's at least a walkout. You could be a double on me, you never know. A little 88 in there. Of course, it's not a double, but I'll take an 88, <laughs> nevertheless. Uh, nothing crazy, though. Lorente, brilliant. I've already got his evolution. Thank you so much. We do actually get, oh, a fair few dupes in here as well, so let's quick sell these. So that's it. Elite Division rewards always underwhelming. We get a couple of walkouts, but well, technically four considering we've got the two player pick ones. Uh, while I'm here, let me quick check evolution to see if anything came out. Maybe it might be a 6 p.m. content. Okay, so no new evolutions. I still need to do the sharpshooter myself. Uh, but that's it then. So we get two acts. As far as I'm aware, we should expect a part two to this. As you can see, 20 days. So within 20 days and 24 hours, normally like a week before it ends, we should expect to be able to get close to finishing this. Unless EA make it a super tight schedule. But I'll have to do another video when Act 2 drops. So until then, enjoy the rest of your day. I'll be more so subscribe if you do. I'll catch you later.